Barbie family, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is so pretty. So I told you guys last Thursday that if we could get that last Christmas DIY Dollar Tree video to 5,000 likes, I would do another Christmas video, but this time with a glam theme. So that's what I'm bringing for you guys today. Oh my gosh, everything came out so pretty. We got the candelabra, the little like mirror box with the reindeers, the Christmas tree, this little candle stand. I don't know if you can see that. And then this pretty little mirror image. So I would say that this is more so like a rose gold and gold theme. Um, I was really inspired off of the like rose gold ornaments that Dollar Tree has been carrying the past couple of years and also these really pretty flowers like I really like the color on these flowers so that's the theme I wanted to go with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you do please give it a thumbs up if we could get this video to 5,000 likes I will have another Christmas DIY video out for you guys soon with another theme. So far I've done a buffalo check theme, a farmhouse theme, and now the glamorous theme so if you have any themes you would like to see done make sure you leave them down in the comments below. So again if we could get it to 5,000 thousand thumbs up I will have another one of these type of tutorials out for you guys soon also make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not and click the bell button so you'll be notified every single time that I upload with that being said let's begin this beautiful beautiful tutorial let's start with the mirrored box from Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their square mirror candle holders that's what they're called you place candles on top of them depends if you put a bottom on this if you don't plan on putting a bottom you're gonna need eight if you plan on putting a bottom you'll need 11 of these the stickers on the back of these things are really hard to get off sometimes I gave up like after peeling off one of them it's just too much now what you'll do is you'll glue mirrors together using e6000 glue doesn't have to be e6000 specifically just something that is a heavy duty glue i am gluing three of them side by side and i'm doing this for both of the front the back of my box and the bottom of my box for video purposes i am using hot glue as well i'm placing hot glue wherever two mirrors meet and then for the sides, I ended up using a little piece of mirror that I got from Joy and Fabrics. It's like 10 little square pieces of mirror for 99 cents. Well, I'm just placing that between the wherever two mirrors meet in the front and the back. And this is just for video purposes because I wanted to film this in one day. And if I wait for the E6000 to completely dry, I have to wait more than just a day. Once I have three sets of three mirrors, I go ahead and start gluing on the sides of my box. I just use one mirror and again I use E6000 glue and hot glue. If you don't plan on using hot glue, when you glue on the sides you're going to need something, it doesn't matter what it is, just something to keep that mirror up straight while the glue completely dries. Now to the inside of the box, you probably want to place something first down there just so everything can stand up straight that you place inside of there and you don't have to fill it up too much using other items. So to do this, I'm just using styrofoam squares that I got at Dollar Tree. Now the fun part, decorating the inside. Now I'm using some picks that I got at Walmart because honestly it's 98 cents they're really pretty and I can't get something like this at Dollar Tree so these gold ones were 98 cents like I said and I placed two of them to the front and the back inside of the box obviously you can get all your picks at Dollar Tree but I've said this so many times Dollar Tree is not the be all end all of you know the greatest price you're gonna get for something sometimes you can find something in equal value or less at other stores specifically Walmart is where you're gonna run into this the most I also am using these little picks that I got at Michaels originally priced at $1.99 but right now all of their Christmas picks are on sale for 50% off so this cost me a dollar and I used two of I wanted to add some reindeers inside of this to kind of look like they were flying so I'm gonna be using these white glitter reindeers from Dollar Tree as well as these light up icicle sticks now I don't put the batteries inside of them at all I'm I'm using the sticks because they're clear now what I do is I glue the ornaments to the bottom of those icicle sticks using my hot glue gun but I glue each of them in a different angle so that they're all kind of just looking like they're going higher you know like up into the sky I don't know if that makes sense but like I said I just didn't want them all to be exactly the same Use your hot glue gun to do this just because it's much easier than trying to use E6000 glue and it'll really help secure it in place. Once I have them all stuck to their icicles and set, I go ahead and put them inside of the styrofoam. Now the main inspiration for all these DIYs are actually these flowers just because I really like the color on them and that's why I decided to do the rose gold gold theme. 
So now I'm just placing some of those flowers inside of the mirror box and these are from Dollar Tree. Now I filled the inside of the box wherever I could with some of these gold rose gold ornaments from Dollar Tree. I think this really is like the cherry on top for all of this and it also helps hide the styrofoam that's underneath. The final thing that I added, and this was off camera, were these little picks also from Michaels and it cost a dollar. I added two to the back. And that's it for the mirrored box. This is so pretty, you guys, so pretty. Now moving on to this pretty candle holder. It's all pretty, man. From Dollar Tree, you'll want to pick up some of their candle holder mirrors. This time I'm using this octagon shape and I'm using two of them. I'm also using this candlestick. They have a bunch of different sizes. I'm using the biggest one that you can get. What I'm doing is I'm placing some glue on the top of the candlestick and then gluing that to one of the mirrors. I really wanted to add some crystals to this. So what I'm using are these chandelier little like ornaments from Hobby Lobby. They're $3.99 but on sale I got them for $2 each. Dollar Tree does carry acrylic gems you can substitute but you're not going to get the same look and honestly for a buck more than what you would pay at Dollar Tree it's worth it than buying a bunch of acrylic gems from Dollar Tree and trying to glue something together to make it look like these. You can also buy these on Amazon and there's other craft stores that carry something similar. The ornaments have this little like ring at the top and that's what I'm gluing to the bottom of the mirror and I'm making sure that the gems are lying the way that I want them to before I glue them down then I glue them down and I add another layer of glue over that little ring I really wanted to add these I had them on hand and I just thought they would look really pretty so yes this is not a Dollar Tree product but it's not like it's that much more than what you would pay for something a Dollar Tree as long as you get it on sale. If you're paying $4 for each one, obviously, no, it isn't going to work out that way. But the good thing is Hobby Lobby is always having sales on their seasonal items. And if not, they always have a coupon. And then once they're all glued and dried down, I go ahead and just cut down the strings that are attached to the ornaments. Now to the bottom of the candle holder, I glue another octagon mirror. I then glue one of those white glitter reindeers to the bottom mirror and now you're finished with this candle holder. Now moving on to the candelabra, I love making Dollar Tree candelabras because candelabras are expensive. Even if you get them at some place cheap, they're expensive. So from Dollar Tree, you want to pick up two of these candle holders. You're going to go ahead and glue the tops of the candle holders to each other. So one is just upside right and then the other one is upside down. And the other reason why I like making candelabras out of Dollar Tree products, you got to use your imagination. So now I'm going to be taking this bowl. It's actually a plastic bowl and I'm going to be gluing that to the top of the candlestick. Now for something like this, you don't want to put real candles. It's going to burn up on you. So I'm going to be using these fake little LED candles from Dollar Tree. I picked up three of them and I placed them inside of the blow, blow what the heck, the bowl before I glue them down because I want to make sure they're going to lie how I want them to lie. Once you figure that out, you can go ahead and glue them. Now to fill up that bowl, I'm using ornaments again. And then I use these pine cones. Dollar Tree carries a bunch of different ones. I got this it's like a aged gold and then that's all I did for the candelabra I love it so much I wish I could put real candles inside of there but I feel like it would just burn my house down so I'm not about to do that now moving on to the Christmas tree from Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their white Christmas trees it depends how big you want this to be I'm going to be using two of them so because I'm using two of them I have to remove the bottom of the top part of this Christmas tree. To do this, I have to use a pair of pliers and what I do is I go to the bottom rod and I move it around until it loosens up and then it just comes right off. But once you do this, you kind of close up the rod that's there so you need to use your pliers to open it up again and reveal the hole. For the tree at the bottom, you're going to have to remove the top rod so that a stick can go through it. Now the green Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, you don't have to remove the top. You can see the rod, but for the white ones, you have to remove the, the top. Christmas tree that's going to be at the bottom. Obviously, you want to put the legs on there so that it can stand up straight. To attach both Christmas trees together, I'm using this wooden stick that I got at Walmart for 39 cents. You can even use the little wood dolls from Dollar Tree between the two Christmas trees and just kind of glue it in place. Because the stick I got from Walmart is too long, I had to 
um, remove the bottom portion of it so that, you know, it fit properly between the two Christmas trees. Now, I'm saying two Christmas trees because at the end of this all, I ended up with two Christmas trees. Initially, I did three Christmas trees. To secure the Christmas trees in place so they don't spin around, use your hot glue gun. To make it look fuller, I'm using this white garland from Dollar Tree. Now, there is like an opal type of appearance to it so it's not straight up opaque white keep that in mind but it looks so much better if you wrap this around the Christmas tree because like I said the Christmas tree is pretty sad looking without it now moving on to the fun part decorating the Christmas tree I'm gonna start off by using these white little floral picks that I got at Walmart they were a dollar and 48 cents I used five of them initially but once I cut down the tree I only ended up using three of them and it was just kind of to help make this look fuller the next item I used were these white birds and I got these at Walmart for $1.48. So it's not that much more expensive than something you would get at Dollar Tree. Now I did want to use these little silver ones that I got from Dollar Tree but I couldn't find them and I found them after the entire thing was said and done so I just left the Walmart ones in there. You'll see some birds similar to that later on. Now I start to add some of these pretty rose gold ornaments and I keep saying rose gold but honestly it's it's like a peach gold but I'm just saying rose gold because that's what everybody else keeps calling it anyways I attach those ornaments by using glue just because I feel like it's much more secure and I don't really like the way it dangles on the Christmas tree if that makes sense now I feel like this part and the part that I'm gonna show you at the end really make the tree and it's these flowers I take them off of the stems and then I attach them to the Christmas tree you can use your glue gun or you can cut the stems off and just kind of put them through the Christmas tree that way. Next, I'm going to be using these little gold flower picks also from Dollar Tree. I go ahead and remove them from the stems and then I just place them throughout my Christmas tree. Now, this is really helpful if you're trying to make some of the branches look longer, especially at the bottom. Now, this is the other thing I was talking about that I think really makes the Christmas tree these pretty gold birds. The feathers are like this peach color, a really beautiful peach color. And then they have these really pretty pearls on the back of them. Well, I go ahead and I attach those birds to the Christmas tree. There's a clip at the bottom of them, so you don't have to glue them on or anything like that. Now, those birds, I had the silver ones, and that's what I wanted to use in the Christmas tree. But I couldn't find them, so I ended up using the Walmart ones. But Dollar Tree does carry them in silver and they also have them like red and green so the final thing I did to this tree was add a flower at the top so it kind of is like the star at the top of the tree and that's it for the Christmas tree if you're wondering about the gold boxes at the bottom the rose gold boxes they're from Dollar Tree now moving on to just this really pretty mirror piece of wall decor from Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their ornate framed mirrors. You can get any framed mirrors from Dollar Tree, but these work well for this theme because of the design of the frame. Now you want to remove the back stand on the back of these mirrors. You don't need that. Now you are going to attach the mirrors side by side. It depends how many you want. I'm attaching four side by side. I'll be doing that two times. Wherever you attach a frame to another frame, you're going to notice that not the entire sides of the frames touch each other because of the way that this is designed. So to any high point on the side of the picture frame is where you will apply glue. There's no point in applying it to the lower points because the lower points won't touch the um, edge of the other picture frame you attach it to. Again, I don't know if that makes sense, but you can see what I'm talking about. It's not every single part of the picture frame is going to touch every single part of the other picture frame. Again, since E6000 takes a while to dry, I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm just applying some of the hot glue on the back of the picture frame wherever two of the picture frames meet. But I don't put too much because I don't want hot glue seeping through there and then this ends up looking funny. So like I said, I made two sets of four picture frames glued side by side and then I attached those two sets together. Again, I'm using my E6000 and hot glue to do this. Now, even if you just used E6000, I feel like the pit frames, when they're all glued together, it's going to be too flimsy. So I highly suggest using a white piece of foam board that you get at Dollar Tree and attaching that to the back of this because like I said, I feel like it's too flimsy if you try to make it stand straight up. Now, if you're hanging it on your wall, that's an entirely different thing, but I'm a renter, so I can't do that. 
So all I did is I took my foam board and I cut it down to the size that I wanted it to be and then I put some hot glue all over the back of these picture frames and then attached the foam board to the picture frames and that way it's nice and sturdy so that I could put it on a mantle or wherever I like but like I said I'm a renter so I don't really want to put holes in my wall to hang this up that way. But if you're hanging it up it's going to be okay with just the E6000. And that's all I did for this mirror wall decor. Obviously, you can put a wreath, and that's what I do a lot if you watch my other videos. You can put a wreath in the center of this, and it'll look really pretty. But I just like the way it looked with just the white. But maybe I'll end up adding a wreath eventually. So that is it for this glam Christmas Dollar Tree decor video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love absolutely every single DIY I did in together. It just looks so pretty. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.